So I think it's uh, loading up, and I think everyone can see that desktop now. So now you'll see in the upper over here. loading, so I should wait for it just a little bit. Yeah, you're right. It is. I'm, yep, I'm you're live. You're live. So I'm live. live. Yes, sir. Okay, so, so, so on the upper left-hand corner, you see Call Monitor Pro. And I have it in the Skype for Business user interface, and we can we'll switch that back and forth so you can see it. Um, and I have I have Word running, and really what we're doing is showing that really you can kind of uh, take your calls and handle them without seeing the Skype for Business. Thank uh, you for calling Conquest Technologies. This is and uh, that was not part of the presentation, but that's what it sounds like when you answer. All right. So what I'm going to do is make a call in, and the the way that you answer a call is just like Link currently. We're not doing anything with the call toast. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm just clicking on the standard call toast. This remember this is an end user, and uh, now I have answered the call, and you see the active call is always on top. So if I'm here, you know, typing in Word, the the call monitor is is always on top and why don't I mute that and lay it to the side and you can see that we have our current call it shows who's calling shows the timer I can place the call on hold with one click of my mouse or if I wanted to I could use a the um, the hot shortcut key that that I decide what it is I can pick that call back up again and you'll notice it went slightly dim just to show you that it is on hold, kind of a visual. Um, I can mute the call with a click, and um, I can hang up, or I can enterprise version feature. I can click on the transfer and get a one-click transfer where it shows the the um, the uh, call transfer. I can place it on park. So let me just uh, click park. And you'll notice now the call's on park. It, it doesn't disappear from your window because this is a call that you know is of interest to you. It shows you the uh, call park number so you can announce that to someone else. Or if no one else picks it up and you want to retrieve it again, you can use the retrieve button, F8. And, of course, you see the link window um, moving around in the background there. And now we have picked that call back up again. And, of course, we can hang up the call. All right. And... All right, so, and configuration. So that's a real basic, uh, what I was going to do, yes, let's, before we go into configuration, I was going to do two calls. So I'm going <clears> to <throat> make a call. An incoming call. So I'm going to answer that call. <clears throat> and now I have, I have a single call in here, and now I'm going to make another another call and maybe I'll make an outgoing call on this one so you can see the multi call handling okay so now so now we have <clears throat> two calls going and I can place one on hold <clears throat> And I pick the other one up. And if you put the one that's, if you pick up the one that's currently on hold, it automatically switches them around. And you're you're on hold there. Um, and that's I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to transfer on that one. And if you do not have the Enterprise Edition, you will get a notice that you need that, which in this case I don't. But if you had the full version and you clicked on this, you would just get the search screen for. Um, for transferring. So once again, I can hang up. And our thought was for end users, really, they need to handle two calls. Um, more than that, you will get a scroll bar, which means it's not going to be real efficient. 
if you're handing more than two calls, our thought is you, you might be an attendant. You should move that direction. So not trying to fill an attendant console scenario. Hey, Matt. Yes. I don't know if you showed the double-click on the I call not. feature. Thank you. Keep, prompt me because I got out of order here, so I don't have my note, my yeah, pres no presentation notes. So, yeah, do that. So, um, so I, I'm just going to do another incoming call. Okay, so I have an incoming call now. Answer the call, and one of the things is, so you kind of lose your active conversation window. You know, it's down somewhere. You don't know where it got to. You can double-click on here, and it will bring, and it's bringing it up on another screen, but it is indeed bringing it up. So you double-click double, double click on it, and if I can just get it over on my on the active screen here. So you can, to find the current call, there it is. It was on my other screen. I have four screens, and they can get disappear onto the other screen. But, yeah, so if you double-click in the uh, <clears throat> anywhere on the call, it will find the current conversation window for you. So if you want to use any, you know, bump it up to video or some other things, you can do that. Uh, what, Japheth, is there anything else that I... Yes, and you can answer you can answer a call. You can define the hotkey that you want to use to answer it, or you can use the link toast. Um, so, and we will show that. Jeff, is there anything related to the Call Monitor Pro um, interface that you noticed that I missed? Um, not that I can think of right now. Okay. So yeah. So if you hover over those buttons, it'll it'll tell you what the hotkey is. Yep, that's good. So if you change that, and we'll go into taking a look at that, so just hang that call up. So, and this is the setup, so you can go into the shortcut keys and really make them anything you want. Um, you can, it seems like it make a lot of sense to have them global in this scenario, but they don't need to be. And of course the select dial, you can uh, make that key whatever it is, so Question is if you do if you don't have uh, call park on the link server will the icon disappear the icon will get uh, it will get grayed out as if you can't use it um, so that might be something that could be financed at the moment it is just grayed out so yeah you can easily change all the hotkeys there's a couple other settings um, of course we have multilingual. It can be always on top, or if you don't want it for some reason, it seems to me like you would always want it on top. Uh, you can focus on incoming call. If you want to make it so that it, the buttons click when you click them, you can do that. And uh, you can suppress the call window. So if you don't want the call window to show up when you answer a call, you can do that. And that's, that's not beta. That's a mistake. But, yeah. So. All right. Any other Q&A or ideas? I mean, I think that's all that I had for the demo. And uh, we're 11.39. It's okay if we end. And, uh, if we end before we need to. If you have any questions, just unmute yourself and give us the question, or you can type it in the chat window. Yeah. Type it in, or, um, yeah, Mark, we'll talk to you about that enterprise uh, consultative transfer. Um, we can talk about that. If you want to, you can always talk to uh, Wendell, and that he contact him, sales at landiscomputer.com, related to that. Um, any questions? Anything that we weren't clear on? Once again, this uh, Call Monitor Pro, the things that were listed on the Call Monitor Pro, that is, you know, free, entirely free. So Call Monitor Pro, it's free. Um, if you're interested in the Enterprise Edition, uh, the way we're doing it is we're, uh, we're licensing that by organization. So talk to Wendo. He'll give you one simple figure, and then you know what the cost is. Um, but we welcome input. Um, this is a this is a community product. It's the result of a lot of community input. 
Um, and it's going to be on TechNet Gallery, so you can just go out there, download it. Um, we're building on some previous applications. Hey, Matt, just something else you might want to plug in. You had talked about the two different look and feels, and I don't think you showed that live. I know you had some, ah, some pictures of it. Ah, thank you. Yeah, just plug, just, just, yeah. Nice to have record conversation. Yes, that would be very, very, very incredible feature. And I would be glad if the Link SDK would give us that access to that. Um, and if it would, in a moment, we would actually bring that functionality. I'd love to do that. So moving over to... Uh, so how does licensing model, if you get, so if you're in the free, the licensing model is entirely free. Um, if you go to the enterprise edition, what we are doing is based on the number of users in the organization, we give you one lump sum, and that's the cost. So basically, it's based on the number of users, and uh, we have a, a magic formula. Yes, there will be support. Um, and I would say if you're familiar with the percent, you know, like the common support costs, no cost on, once again, Call Monitor Pro, that's available in TechNet Gallery, zero, zero. That's community supported. There's, you can ask questions on TechNet Gallery. Um, so no, no, you know, that's community supported, no cost. But uh, yearly cost, Wendell, do you have percent? Um, yeah. What, and why, don't, why don't I not stumble into that? I'll, just give the typical what often percentages are. Yeah, uh, typical percent of the once once we know your your number of users in your link environment, uh, then we'll give you a total price for licensing and yearly cost is 20% of that. That's that's typical. That's industry. Um, if someone didn't want support after the first year, they could probably get out of that. All right. Yes. So good point. You didn't. I, I was showing what? the Skype. One more thing I want to add there before we leave the support. Support, in our case, always includes some support instances. If you need uh, technical support, it also includes uh, updates to the latest version as we improve it. Go ahead. All right. Hey, uh, Jafeth. Yeah, right-click on the settings button. <laughs> Thank you. We didn't this talk is... about this beforehand. Huh? <laughs> totally fine. Okay. All right, so now we have the... <laughs> so, Call Monitor Pro, and we'll, we'll show you the Link 2013 user interface. Yes, very, um, whoever reminded me of that, thank you very much. So, so we have the user interface to match Link 2013 and attend or Link Skype for Business. And we think we're doing a very good job of making it so the user doesn't have to think about uh, that there's anything out of joint. So here you go. Now you're seeing the uh, the uh, Call Monitor Pro in a Link 2013 user interface. And uh, the user interface should be just pretty much identical to Skype. I mean, there you can see the, you know, the avatar. Um, and so, you know, the mute button, the uh, hang up button really, you know, looks, if you hold this, they should look basically identical. A user that is used to using Link 2013 or Skype for Business, our intention is to make it so that when they look at this, they say, wow, I mean, that I just know exactly what to do. Put a call on hold. It, it, it dims it so you know for sure that, that call's on hold. If you uh, call another user, let's just call her, for example, using the Link user interface. And... Uh, you can see the two calls there. After the tone, please record your message. When you finish recording, hang up or press the pound key for And if you double click on it, you see the uh, user or the, the conversation window shows. When you're on a call and another call comes, and when you put that call, will the user hear a message? Recorded message. When you're on a call and another call comes in. So basically, um, that's like a music on hold question. So whatever link, whatever setup in your link environment for music on hold is what will be played to the user when the user is on hold. Yeah, same, same as link. Yeah, sorry. I, the guy that 
the question gets aimed at sometimes can't think as fast as it So maybe it would be interesting to show some, you know, once again, not intended to be uh, an attendant console, so, you know, it's really geared to handling one or two calls at the, at the most. And if there's more than two, you, you can, it'll still answer, but you'll get a scroll bar, which makes it pretty inefficient to handle it. So really designed around the, the user using two calls. I don't know who reminded me of the Link 2013 user interface, but yeah. All right. Any other any other questions? I see a bunch of questions uh, being answered on the IM. Is there any I should call out and verbally talk about? Uh, those of you who are answering those on the IM. Yeah, I don't think so. I think we're taking care of them. Again, if anybody has a question they want to ask us, uh, just just unmute yourselves. Um, and if you can unmute yourself, let us know, and we'll unmute, and we'll unmute you for you. 